What's the deal? What's the deal? You already know what it is. Your favorite Auntie Pooh and what y'all thought? I wasn't finished. I wasn't. I wasn't finished. I know y'all thought. Wait a minute, Auntie. Where the next part at? Where the next part at? Y'all already know what I'm going to say. What we going through, we going to get through. We ain't never what we been through. You understand? We going to get through all of it. Through the ups, the downs, the good, the bad, the ugly. We got to accept it all. We got to take accountability. You know, for our mistakes that we made and like them, we can't keep blaming other people. We just got to make changes and we got to get more discipline so we can understand what we need to do. You understand what I'm saying? We got to go on stuff with a clear mind and a clear head and clear thoughts and positive vibes. Can't think negative. Can't always think something ain't going to happen. Everything is going to happen because we going to make it happen. You understand? So I love y'all. I care about y'all. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. You know what I'm saying? I hope that y'all truly understand that i really do love y'all i don't do content for the money i don't do content for you know to get bigger i do content because i've been through a lot in my life i've been through a lot of good i've been through a whole lot of bad i've been through so many deaths i've been through so many hurts and so many pains but at the same time i never want to be that person that issue out that type of pain and that type of hurt and i think the world we live in now everybody want to just be popular to be popular they really don't care what they got to do to or say to get popular and that's just not me i'm not gonna do and say anything i'm not nobody dancing puppet i'm somebody who been through everything in the world and just don't want you to go through none of the dumb stuff that i've been through in life that's it that's it and that's all i just don't want you to go through the stuff i've been through that's literally it i done hit so many brick walls baby <laughs> 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 it literally should be done for y'all to hit. Before you make a dumb choice, just ask me. Because I probably already made it and go tell you how it's not going to work. Ain't no point in doing that to yourself and doing that to your mind, your body, and your soul. Now let's get into this next party. The next part of the story. So boom, they go to the room, right? They get to the room and they hear noises and shit. And they like, oh my God baby they get in there and it's a full-blown orgy i'm talking about a full-blown it's women it's men it's cracking it's like seven or eight people in here so they just standing in the door in disbelief like i no this this ain't happening so tina ready to go off and so is april but you know what they didn't they walked out of disbelief they was hurt they was crying but they was like we going to use this to our advantage. That's what we going to do. So, you know, they let it go on. They didn't say absolutely nothing. They didn't say absolutely nothing. So, you know, later on, you know, weeks go by. They still not saying nothing. They playing it off every time their husband's trying to have sex with them. They blowing them off. You know what I'm saying? They, they cool because they already got something made up in their mind because they get cracking. They really like each other. So, you know, they bond is going even more stronger. You feel what I'm saying? They chilling together. They doing what they do. But everybody living their best life. So ain't nobody really complaining or saying that right until this particular day. Now, what's their kid's birthday? Now, both of their kids... It's maybe like a week apart. So she said, fuck it. We go do a party together. Because they wanted to go to the same place. And it was like, why we go go there twice? We might as well just do one big party. So they did the party in the middle. Like after our birthday. But right before the other girl birthday. So it just combined, right? So they do a party. Now they at this nice ass little resort. Where they got water slides and all this stuff. You know, for the kids to play, right? The kids having a good time and all that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody drinking liquor. Everybody doing their thing. And so the wife, you know, Tina and April and them is just looking at their husbands like, like you two niggas, they seeing them hug each other and laugh and everybody giggling and it's making them mad. You know what I'm saying? It's making them mad. They getting madder and madder. So it was like, okay. So, you know, they all sitting around later on. The kids is in the room. You know what I'm saying? With grandma and them, they chilling. And so the mama is like, his mama is like asking Tina, what's wrong? She was like, ain't nothing wrong. His mama was like, something is wrong. I can tell something's wrong with you. She was like, ain't nothing wrong. She was like, something is wrong. And so the mama was like, so you know. And she was like, I know what? And the mama was like, so you know about my son. And she was like, what I know about your son? She was like, so you know. 
She was like, I was wondering when he was going to tell you. She was like, tell me what? She was like, do you know my son bisexual? And she was like, unfortunately, y'all do. She was like, so he didn't tell you? She was like, no. Unfortunately, I saw him with his best friend and my boss and several other people, right? His mom, like, literally is disgusted with him. Like, what? Because his mom's mind is like, either you gonna tell your wife, like, you better, she been telling him, like, you better tell your wife because you eventually gonna get caught and when she take you for everything, I'm gonna be right there with her and not with you. So she telling the mom, like, don't say nothing to mom, like, you better take him for everything he got. The mom is utterly disgusted with it. Like, I can't stand you, you know what I'm saying? So they forming a plan, they getting evidence, you know what I'm saying? Because that night when they caught them, they did take pictures and videos, I forgot to say that. So they took pictures and videos, you know what I'm saying? So then, the next thing you know, next thing you know you know the boss say oh i got a trip because like i said remember he wanted to hire the fella so he ended up bringing him on for like consulting and stuff like that so he like oh we gotta take a trip so boom they take a trip just the fellas so when they take the trip you know they call chocolate you know what i'm saying they talking to them or whatever and so Chocolate and them like, oh, I see your husband them is out here, and you ain't out here. And she basically got Chocolate like, look, if you can give me some pictures and videos, like, I'll make it worth your while. He like, how much? She asked him, no, you tell me your price. Like, what you want? She, he was like, shit, give me 20. She like 20,000. In her mind, that's easy peasy because she know what she about to get. She like, no problem. So, boom, the fellas on the trip. You know, Chocolate and them got accesses to the room. That's their job. Maybe they didn't set up a camera that motherfucker. And lo and behold, they didn't got the information they needed. You feel me? You send it to her. She do a wire transfer. Everything good. Locked and loaded. The whole time they on the trip, both of them clean their houses out. Clean out the house with everything. They didn't trade their money and bank accounts. They didn't do all kind of stuff. Kid money, all kind of shit. Mama helping them. Now, it's divorce time. He come home, he looking around like, what the fuck? She leave the pictures and shit on the on the uh, table. And she tell that motherfucker straight up. Go on and sign these papers. Or I'm going to blast all of y'all. Him not knowing really what she really got going on, he signed the paper. April husband do the same because they got a reputation. You feel me? They don't really want that out there. So the boss don't know what's going on at the time. She basically tell him, look, and we go keep this private. You go keep getting your money from him. You go do what you do. I'm going to stay in this house, but I'm going to live my life. And you go do what you do. Boom. So now he openly living his life, you know, doing what he do. But this is where her kicker come in. So now mom's come over and she talking to him. And she like, you know, I just can't believe you. You disappointed. Da 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 da. And he look her dead in the face and say, But you were sleeping with Auntie Amy this whole time. I remember when I saw y'all licking on each other when I was little. So how you gonna talk about me when you do the same thing? 